Ohayo. That's how you say good morning in Japan. Ohayo gozaimasu. Today we are visiting the Nishijin Central Elementary School, Gakko in Kyoto, Japan. Most kids in Japan walk to school. There are no school buses. Community volunteers help children cross the street safely. Wearing brightly colored hats helps drivers see them. Their teachers, sensei, greet them each morning. School rules and goals are where everyone can see them. There's even a loom which teaches students about Kyoto's most famous industry, silk manufacturing. Learning about their cultural heritage is important to the Nishijin School, which is in the heart of the historic silk manufacturing area of Kyoto. Outdoor shoes are taken off and put into cubbies, getabako, and indoor shoes, uabaki, are put on. Backpacks, landoseru. Are kept in cubbies too. Girls use red and boys use black most of the time. School starts at 8:30 in the morning and ends at 3 in the afternoon. Younger students usually go home early, and older students often stay even later for after-school activities. Hear the bell ringing? Time for class to begin. Today is a special day. There's a guest reader in the class. Time for gym class. Students wear gym uniforms. Today, they're working on their long-distance jumping. See them measuring how far they've jumped. There are four classes in the morning. About 45 minutes long, with short recess breaks in between. Lunchtime starts around 12:30 and lasts about 40 minutes. Itadakimas is giving thanks for the food. Ooh, what's on the menu for lunch today? In Japan, schools have kitchens, but no cafeterias. Students eat in the classroom with their teachers. They even take turns serving lunch. It looks like rice is on the menu today. In Japan, rice has been around for a long time. People even eat rice for breakfast. Everyone gets a carton of milk. Then a scoop of rice. I wonder what the okazu is today. Okazu is the dish that goes with the rice. Looks like ground chicken, torisoboro, with green beans and tofu. The soup is tofu with seaweed, wakame. There's even a bag of dried seaweed for seasoning. The way your lunch is placed on your tray is really important. Milk is always on the upper left, okazu is upper right, rice is lower left, and soup is on the lower right. The food must be placed correctly on the tray, and kids respond "hi" for yes. Time to give thanks. Te o awasemashou. Now we can eat. Itadakimas.
These guys are so lucky. They get to watch TV while they eat. Hey, is anyone listening? Nope, they're taking a survey of the class to see what kind of games they'll play at recess. Much more important. Time for second helpings. The soup must be good today. Good. Two thumbs up for today's lunch. The sign reads, A lot of happiness, a lot of dreams. Happiness and lunch must go hand in hand. Time to clean up. Dishes get put away. Milk cartons get recycled. And guess what else? They brush their teeth. After lunch is over, they give thanks again. Gochisousama! Time for recess! Asobo! Kids in Japan love to play. There are lots of fun things to do outside but only about 20 minutes to do them. Jump rope, even double dutch. Ask any kid in Japan if they can ride a unicycle, and the answer will most certainly be height or yes. Did you know that students clean their entire school? Not only their classroom, but the hallways, outside, and even the bathrooms. <laughs> now, afternoon classes begin. Math, science, social studies. Hmm, their school day is a lot like ours. Come play with us in Kyoto. What a fun day! Thanks for showing us your school today.